5 Reasons INFJs Have Problems in Romantic Relationships INFJs, since they are special, do not date for the sake of dating. They will not spend their resources if they cannot imagine a deep relationship. I am an INJF2 and here are 5 reasons INFJs have trouble with romantic relationships. 1. We don't date for the sake of dating. We won't spend our time and resources if we can't see ourselves in a long-term relationship. I can't tell you how many times my mother has advised me to pursue a little dating. I'm sure I'm not the only introvert who said, you don't have to marry them. 800 times. But here's the thing about INFJs. If a commitment isn't on the table, we're usually uninterested. It's one of the reasons INFJs quit relationships. Commitment does not always imply marriage, but we will not invest what little social energy we have in anyone if we cannot see a deep relationship with them. 2. We hate small talk to get to know you because it leaves us feeling isolated. I despise memes that say that all introverts despise people, because this is simply not true. Small talk does not fascinate me, people do. First dates, on the other hand, necessitate small talk because you're both trying to develop a baseline awareness of things about each other. This sometimes leads to dissatisfaction with the degree of interaction we make on a first date. However, first dates can be fantastic when they are catered to introverts, such as getting coffee at a bookstore or finding a game perhaps at the same bookstore, that asks the other person introspective questions. 3. It can take us some time to decide how we feel about others. When it comes to deciphering my emotions, I frequently feel like I'm three steps behind. The INFJ extroverted feeler personality trait instinctively attunes us to how others feel, but it also alienates us from knowing our own feelings. Most of the time, I have a pretty good idea of who a person is and how we'll get along after only one meeting, but when it comes to romantic interests, I'm frequently so confused that it takes me a long time and a lot of energy to determine how I really feel about someone. I've learned over time that it's okay not to know how I feel, even if the other person seems to know, and to work it out at my own rate. 4. We pick up on everything, including the most subtle clues. I'm sure my ex whatever we were might have gotten away with, letting me down easy, if I hadn't been hyper aware of body language, intonation, and phrasing. INFJs have a propensity to pick up on even the most subtle signals, making us feel like the human equivalent of a lie detector and a mood ring all rolled into one. INFJ partnerships would actually be better for everyone involved if we could try to muffle any of those incoming signals, but that's not something I can do. So, if I think my partner isn't being absolutely honest with me, I call them out on it. Even if it hurts more, I'd rather have the truth. 5. We are idealists with high hopes. Many people, whether introverted or extroverted, have high expectations. However, INFJs are idealists. We believe that everyone has the ability to become a better person and expect others to strive for that potential in the same way that we do. We appear to offer much more than we take, and we like it that way. However, if we go too long without getting any form of reciprocation that indicates we are just as deeply respected, we become hurt and begin to blame the other person for not putting in the same effort. Lower your guard, but not your standards. I'd like to question and affirm the way we treat relationships for all my fellow INFJs out there. 1. Don't depend too much on the past. We sometimes get ahead of ourselves and act out a whole relationship in our minds before it even occurs because INFJs continuously make references to past experiences. I'm learning to give people a chance to show me what they really have to say rather than jumping to conclusions based on previous relationships. 2. Give yourself time to think before answering. One of my bad habits in relationships is reacting without allowing myself enough time to process all of my emotions. INFJs are known for seeing both sides of a case, which can make it difficult to come up with an immediate response. Allowing myself time to analyze how I feel, carefully and alone, before answering decreases my risk of hurting or misunderstanding someone. 3. Be truthful about your goals. Part of the reason I was so disappointed by my most recent dating misadventure was that my date thought my relationship standards were the same as his. He mentioned that he would like to spend time with his partner every day while I require a lot of alone time and seldom see anyone more than twice a week, at least at first. Being transparent about my expectations can help to avoid potential misunderstandings and build a more satisfying relationship. 
4. Stop attempting to figure out what went wrong. INFJs aim for change in all facets of our lives. We focus on our past actions, seeking to find out what we can do differently the next time. It's been 10 months since the breakup you've been reading about, but I always wonder if I did anything wrong and if he and I might have sorted things out if I'd done things differently. Instead of reflecting on the past, embrace your feelings, give yourself time to think, and then move on, knowing that what is meant for you will be yours. 5. Do not lower your hopes. We INFJs are proud of our ability to make others feel unique and to show people that they are known and valued. However, as we wait for that elusive soulmate, we become disappointed and settle for someone who does not deserve the benefit of the doubt that we want to extend to anyone we encounter. It's a lovely blessing to be able to see the world through rose-colored lenses, but be truthful with yourself when you're idealizing others and dwelling on how they should be rather than how they are. Can you relate, fellow INFJs? What dating problems or tips would you add? Please let me know in the comments section. Please note to like and subscribe as well. We'll see you in our next video.